These are frequent scenes on the streets of Chennai. All four major reservoirs supplying water to India's sixth largest city have run bone dry. Let's get a bird's eye view. This satellite image on your screen is of Lake Pural, recorded in June of last year. The reservoir was filled with blue water to the brim. A year later, this image shows the bed of the city's biggest water body. With the warnings of an impending water famine ignored, the government now says these pictures are a lie. On June 14th, a 28-year-old woman was stabbed by her neighbour in Chennai's Shankarnagar during a quarrel over water. Five developments give us a deeper sense of the crisis at hand. The coastal city has gone without a drop of rain for 200 days on stretch. All the four major reservoirs have dipped far below the zero level and hold not even 1% of their capacity. Pipe water supply is not even 10% and the wait for government tankers is three to four weeks now. Chennai, Kanchipuram and Tiruvallur together had over 6,000 water bodies only 3,896 have survived. Three rivers crisscross the metropolis, but they have all been dead for years. Encroachment and deposition of filth has turned them into glorified gutters. The effects on everyday life are manifold. The city is in the grip of a heat wave with temperatures of over 40 degrees Celsius. Some schools have shut their doors or are cutting their working hours because they cannot dispense water to their students in the searing heat or operate sanitation facilities. Restaurants, hotels in Chennai's famous bachelor mansions have shut their doors while hospitals are enacting water conservation measures to stay open. Even IT businesses are asking employees to stay home. With rains, Chennai gets about 80 to 85 percent of its water in two months, October and November. Being a coastal city, the runoff rate is very high and it is almost impossible to build big dams to save the water for dry months. The government has therefore focused on desalination, but experts say the process is expensive. Even desalination plants we are not advocating because it is a highly cost intensive. There is no doubt that the crisis was in the offing. Perhaps legendary Tamil director K. Balachandar could foresee it. Four decades ago, his path-breaking film, Tanir Tanir or Water Water, Balachandar took the viewers to a small village which had not seen rain in a decade. Water scarcity did not happen in a day. The government knew very well that this was coming. Zero efforts were taken by the government. 